Good morning, everyone. I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here today. Today, I am doing a commission piece. So excited. Um, one of my friends happened to be here at my house and saw the sunflower that I did for the Sunflowers for Ukraine collaboration. I think it was about a year ago. It was April now, I think it was March last year that we did that collaboration. I still have that piece, it's a beautiful piece. I'll put up a picture right here. And she wanted it in pink. She loves pink Gerbera daisies. and wanted it on a black background, just like the sunflower. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I did a test piece for her, she loves it. I did that on a smaller 10 by 20. And today we're going to do it on a 20 by 24 inch canvas. So I have all my colors mixed up. I've got my black mixed up. Fingers crossed. It's early, the sun's just come up. I'm not looking all that wonderful, but like I said, it's super early and this is when I paint. I like to paint early in the morning. Um, it's a PA day here, so Max is still in bed. All right, so here is my 20 by 24 inch canvas. I'm gonna go through my colors. So I am using my Montmartre Lamp Black. This has a really cool reaction. If you have Lamp Black by Montmartre, try this out, but be prepared that it does kind of tend to eat up your paints a little bit. It's perfect for a technique like this because it'll push through the colors. And along with metallics, we get some beautiful cells. This is Deco Arts Berry. And this is a metallic white that I created myself. So this is Montmartre's Titanium White with um, Vallejo Pearl uh, Medium, and then just water. And in the test piece, it worked fabulously. I was so excited. Oh my goodness, I am going to forget these colors. Let's see if I can remember. So this one is Amsterdam's Permanent Red Violet Light. Wow, I'm surprised I remembered that. Okay, and this one is Amsterdam's Quinacridone Rose. I love that color. I am not a pink person. I'm not a pink girl. I don't like to paint with pink. This was definitely a challenge for my test piece, but I love the quinacridone rose. I'm glad I had it. And this is Amsterdam's Persian rose. I do use this one in, you know, several of my pieces because it's very light. It's just, um, you know, a little bit brighter than white. And sometimes you don't want to use white every time. All right, let's get painting. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get some black down here. I'm going to speed this part up so that you're not completely bored watching me spread out my base coat. Although I do know some people like this. I'm literally just going to keep tilting it. So let's speed it up. Okay, the base coat is down. I'm gonna give her a torch and I will get the first colors on the canvas. Okay, so one of the things about this kind of a piece is 
have to remember that it's abstract and not to be so perfecto. Um, one of the things that I struggle with is being a perfectionist. And like I said, in this kind of art, you really just have to do it. Something that I've learned. I love just being able to let go and enjoy the process. But when it's a commission piece that someone has paid you for, it's always a little bit more difficult. Okay. And because it's a black background, you're really going to see my light, my overhead light here a lot. So I do apologize for that. But And I have taken the backs of my canvases, my artist loft canvases, and just cut them up into different sizes. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is add in some music and speed this up a little bit. I might stop and chat, uh, but I really wanna concentrate. So let's put some music on. My goodness, I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. So happy with how this turned out. I'm glad I turned the canvas around. I remember that from when I did the sunflower, trying to reach to the far side of the canvas and I'm 5'1 on a good day. And yeah, turn the canvas around, pull it towards me. Gotta remember that. That metallic white that I mixed up 
just reacts. Amazing. I love it. I love it with the pink. It, once this dries, it's really gonna pop. And yeah, I'm happy with the half circle. Not all wonky, at least I don't think so anyway. And I think the white is gonna react a little bit more with black, so yeah, let's do a close up. Thank you so very much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Help me hit that 1000 subscriber mark. Have a great day and a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.